Okay, John, John Production.com, no S. Yeah, this is my first video blog. I'm pretty shy. I don't really do video blogs. Uh, I'm pretty known for my photography and filmmaking. And uh, please, people, don't laugh. I'm pretty shy. Sorry about that. But uh, I'm pretty shy. Um, yeah, I'm just here today to talk about the new upcoming film that's going to be based on Cambodia. History. The Great Khmer Empire. I mean, it's called the Great Empire itself. So, it's going to take place uh, at the uh, King Javadamon time. Javadamon the Seven. So, it's going to be like how we... You know, fight the champ book, took it back. Hopefully it's like that. And uh, hopefully to go deep into his uh, history, his culture. You know, um, I'm just here today about my opinion about it. I'm not hating on it. I support it because, you know, it's a history of Cambodia. And um, I'm here today just to, um, you know, talk about the good and the bad. It's all opinion. You know, I'm going to have a lot of haters, but who give a f <laughs> But yeah, um, the good thing about it is what I wrote. The good thing about it is going to make us... Cambodians, come on, around the world, world look good. It's gonna make us feel proud because I'm uh, like, hey, shit, they recorded in Cambodia. That's my uncle, and my auntie right there, you know. And it just makes us feel happy because they feel that connection when they see another Khmer person in the theater. Like when the Tomb Raider came out, they felt it. They're like, oh my god, I loved it. That's why a lot of Cambodian people love Angelina Jolene. You know what I mean? Because she was, you know, based on you know the the footage was on Cambodia. And they're like, oh, I love her. And she had more hits and support from the Cambodian community. And plus she adopted a Cambodian son. <laughs> that makes us look good also. <laughs> but the thing about it, I realized I didn't see no... For the Cambodian movie that's coming out, uh, I didn't see no male or, Khmer, male or female Khmer actress or actor. So I feel like, you know, having this role in a movie is very powerful because a Korean warrior is very, very, it's based on... Just say uh, 800 history is it is um, a soldier of Angkor, and it's based on you know it's real. It's like 300, and I just feel like I want them to put that in. I want them to put like a strong Cambodian leader inside that film because I don't see it. They put John Cena in one of the name. You know, like maybe they want him. You know, what is he gonna play as the king? And if he does, or some leader, I just feel like. I just feel like if he does that, it just kind of hurt us a little bit because, you know, how would they feel if a black man plays John F. Kennedy or a Chinese man playing as T.I. if T.I. made a film? So I'm just feeling, I'm just I'm just saying, you know, this is all business, Hollywood, that's how they do it. They triple their income. The movie is $70 million, so, you know, it's going to be a lot of green effects, a lot of graphics, you know, they got to be built in core using graphics. So it's going to be a lot of graphics, but I just feel like hopefully they know what they're doing and, you know, this, to me personally, I take it very seriously because, you know, the, the Cambodian history is very powerful and they, it saved my life, you know, and it saved a lot of people's life. And it's not, it's not just like, oh shit, I'll make a film, make a few bucks out of it. This shit is, you know, people will fucking go crazy if this shit was wrong, you know what I mean? And it's like... You know, what can we do, you know? And, uh, yeah. You know what I said already? Hollywood has good idea, but also money take over them. And hopefully, you know, they go deep into the culture and history. Not just blowing up things. You know what I mean? Like, just make it look crazier. Like Lord of the Rings. I love Lord of the Rings, but it was just too much, too long, and that kind of boring. The 300 film, you know, uh, the, the movie 300, uh, hopefully it's based on that. Because 300 was also... Based on a true story, but a lot of errands on history. It was a good film, but it was a lot of bullshit history. It was like uh, most of it is kind of fake. If nobody knows about 300, and um, I just want to hopefully the directors they find good directors and hopefully they find a good person that know a lot about the Khmer Empire, know a lot about the Sanskrit, the the closing matters, you know all that, you know. And I know Hollywood would do a wonderful job. But I'm just kind of pissed off that, you know, they haven't found a Khmer or my person to be one of the roles. You know, we got good actors, actors in Cambodia, you know what I mean? And, you know, and I just feel like, like, we're not too good, you know? And I just believe that, um, you know, like the, the killing field, the main actor, rest in peace, um, he did a wonderful job. He didn't even go to acting school. Think about it. We're gifted. It's just that we have to expose ourselves out there. You know what I'm saying? 
and uh, I got proof. To, uh, I got proof. If you know the movie before 1975, the, the Cambodian movie, a lot of Chinese directors dubbed our film. They took our movie about in China and dubbed it and write in Chinese. That's how good our director was in Cambodia. And they're, now they, they're dead. And, you know, that's the thing people got to realize. And, you know, I don't want to make my blog pretty long. I just uh, want to say this, you know, say this. You know, the film is going to be good. We stay together, watch it, support it. But just remember that we know our history. We know our tradition. We know our culture. It's in our blood. It's in our vein. Inca Warrior, that's me. That's everybody else who supported it and want to be part of it. You know what I mean? We got a long way to go, and a lot of people don't want us to come up. You know, definitely the, the dark skinned Cambodian. I'm dark skinned. I'm from the hood, you know what I mean? So, you know, I just want to let everybody know, mostly the youngsters out there that are watching this. I know the BGs are going to watch this. Hopefully, a lot of Kamai can um, watch this. We need to stay together and help each other. Our family came here not to destroy each other. That's the thing. We had to rebuild the Kamai Empire in our own way. Not let no film do it for us. You know what I'm saying? The rich hating on the poor. You know, we rec a lot of OG recruiting youngsters. You know what I'm saying? We got to be smart about that. We got a strong history and tradition. We got to keep it alive. If we don't, we dead in another 100 years. I mean, 15 years. You know what I mean? I don't care if you mix or not, but shit, the blood is in you. You know what I mean? I'm not racist. You know what I'm saying? I date black, Chinese, white. But I'm saying it's like, we need to stay together. If we don't, we fail. And, uh, you know, our ancestors came here for no reason. And that it. So, this is my video blog about the Great Kamai Empire. And hopefully you guys uh, comment about it. If you guys have any problems, email me. Even text me. My number's on my website. And, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching and hope I didn't bore you guys and hope you guys want to throw rocks at me. But you know, I got more shit to worry about getting robbed, you know what I'm saying? Keep it real. Peace.